I slowly reached my arm up as our eyes met. With the back of my middle and forefinger, I gently brushed some of the hair in his face to behind his ear. He smiles. I smile back. Are we gonna kiss? Yeah, I'm digging that. Dang. I wasn't expecting that right off the bat. <laughs> yeah. You can jam to that. Anyway, welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Jay, aka Dr. Vot, and today we're going to be playing The Phantom Fellows. Uh, two best friends who start a paranormal investigation together, and um, works out pretty well because one of them is already dead. So let's see what we can uncover in The Phantom Fellows. The following is a concept demo. I forgot to mention, this is a demo. Everything you see is a work in progress and may be subject to change. Please note that... I'm sure you could read that before I get it. Thank you for playing! Day one. I'm digging this nice music. It's awesome. Some sweet synth. Um, thank you for coming, Mr. Cobblestone! Of course, and uh, please call me Oliver. I never did get your name, Miss. Okay, so this ghost is. <laughs> she just cussed. <laughs> She's like, "Don't worry about my name. I just I got a ghost. This ghost has been terrifying me since I moved in, and I can't take much more. It gives me one more jump scare. I'm going to start punching the air until something lands." <laughs> as as one would. Yes, absolutely. In fact, if you can't get rid of it, I'm going to have to sell the place. Ugh, moving. Gross. Uh, another, yes, agree. For, for sure. <laughs> well, you don't have to stress anymore, miss. I will throw a punch of ghosts if I have to. <laughs> don't think I won't. <laughs> I'm loving this already. This is great. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Oh. Right, uh, of course you would. I just don't know where the throat is. Yes, that is definitely the tricky part of it. Uh, fortunately, that won't be necessary. I've already detected the occupying spirit. It's what we call Equin Equinsu Oka. Equinsu Oka. Let's go with that. Uh, common in antiquated homes like yours. Oh, what's up, guys? Some sort of palsy, and, uh, anyway, that's how I died pickling eggs. Wait, did he just call me White Devil? <laughs> what? Is that what the... <laughs> Is that what that was? It will require a makeshift exorcism crafted from familiar items in its dwellings. This will all be over before dinner time. Yeah. So, do we have a deal? Well, people most usually don't agree to a deal until after they know what it is. I was hoping we would not need to sweet the, uh, to sweat the deal details, or the information. Sorry, I can't talk. It's early. Uh, that has never worked uh, on anybody. One does not know until we ask. But no, look, I see what's uh, in it for you. I leave Anna there alone, and your schleppy friend gets paid. Oh, I see. So the guy in the bowler hat is is the buddy ghost. And he talks to the other ghost and is like, Hey, stop haunting them, and then they get paid. <laughs> that's, that's great. Um, yeah. Uh, how about you start with uh, what's in it for me? I think I swapped the voices. My apologies. Lakeside property uh, with no pets. Uh, the breather that lives there has exquisite taste in music and lots of small, throwable items. Also, they have a bidet. <laughs> well, why didn't you say that the first? <laughs> okay, you've got a deal. <laughs> it's awesome. All right, just sit tight for a few minutes while I stage the. I mean, um, while I set the stage and exercise the spirit. All right, so we got some pointing and clicking to do here. So. Head on over. I said this is a demo, so there's, I don't see any music or sound effects at this time. Let's see, where am I setting? I don't see anything else to click on. 
Do I go up? Oh. All right. So let's see. That's my walking. Do I grab something? I'm not ruling it out, but let's see if there is something more effective than my hand. <laughs> Honestly, it feels really nice. Okay. Uh, gasoline? What are we going to do? Burn the place down? I now possess one jug of j jar juice? Uh, I got the glitter, which means my clothes will have glitter, <laughs> have glitter for years to come. I better leave it. It really ties the room together. Let's see what this... Is that anything? Got the chalk. Got it. All right. Also feels like nothing. What's in here? Anything in here? You know. <laughs> you know. All right. Let's see. Um, is this what we have? Okay. So we got batteries. Uh, industrial strength glitter. Oh, a metric jug of gas. Okay. So it's gasoline. Just chalk. 2D batteries. All right. Close. I'm not sure what I need to. Oh, okay. So we come down here and then it gives us that stuff. Um, I don't know. Uh, put the glitter. Can I? All right. So this is just showing me what I have apparently. All right. Let's see what to do. Speak. Can I speak to my buddy here and ask like what? All right, what's the lowdown? Does the spirit want anything from me? So what are you two talking about? <laughs> all right, I'm off to put on a little show. Um, all right, what's the lowdown? Does the spirit want anything from me? No, as it appears, your awesome ability to, you know, be alive will not be needed today. It's going to be an easy case. So it agreed to leave. His name is Russ. <laughs> Russ. He is standing right next to me and can hear you. But yes, he is moving to the house that we scouted. Uh, Russ was just... Uh, curing his boredom by having some laughs at her expense. So what are you talking about? Uh, are you reminiscing about the good old days, like when haunting was so much easier before pesky electricity came along? Amongst other things, yes. Like how much better things were when they were heavy? <laughs> what? Wool and iron are superior to cotton and steel for many reasons. Are we really going to this, <laughs> do this now? Because I will absolutely do this now. <laughs> Whatever, next time we're around a nice wool sweater, I'll describe what it feels like to you. I would like that very much. All right, I'm off to put on a little show. Uh, people need to see to believe when I'm done, she will rest easy. Uh, I hope you literally break your tibia. What? Are you trying to wish me luck? Is that what you consider lucky? <laughs> maybe I don't do anything down here. Um, maybe it's a matter of... Now, can I... Oh, okay. Put the glitter in there. Oh! <gasps> What? And that is exactly what should have happened. Okay. <laughs> All right. I, I guess. Hit, put the batteries in there. <laughs> I like the resolve and ambition to make this work. And what about the get? Put the gasoline in there. Boom. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Enough horsing around here. Um, I can't believe that worked. I guess we go upstairs. Can we go upstairs? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Uh, come on, she's looking right at me. I should finish the task at hand. Okay, what? Um, if we're going to do this, we need something to tag it with. All right, so we got the chalk. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, great spirit from beyond. Oh, boy. By the powers that I definitely have, <laughs> I command you. I'm just going to leave now. <laughs> yes, it is going to be a tough watch. Uh, listen, would you mind adding a bit of flair to your exit? Uh, sure, why not? Might as well give her one last little freak out before I go. See you around, Eng Engelbert. <laughs> Engelbert. Was it? Oh wow, that really happened. What am I doing? I wouldn't have believed it were real, really a ghost, if I hadn't felt such flair. <laughs> oh wait, I totally didn't do her voice right. What is a man if without pageantry? Is what I always say. Starting now, I always say that. Starting now. 
What are you talking about? Uh, so, um, Anna. Anna, right? <laughs> How did you know? Huh? What? Uh, no, I didn't say Anna. I said uh, dinner. <laughs> I said, do you want to, with me, go get? <laughs> well, if you hadn't done such a wonderful job, I probably would have said yes. Just took it away from here for a while. However, thanks to you, I now finally feel comfortable being here by myself. <laughs> that is a no. I don't know why he's French for some reason. See, Russ, uh, I told... Oh, right, you're gone. <laughs> I was just going to tell Russ... And then they're gone. <laughs> and they're gone. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Everyone is gone. Guess I'll just... Disappear. <laughs> Thank you again for your help. My pleasure. Uh, this has been pleasurable. So how would you like to pay? Pay? Yeah, you know, I do a thing and you give me money for doing the thing. On the phone, you said you provide a complimentary service. And when you answered the door, I said you have nice eyes. Like, right away. <laughs> complimentary means free. <laughs> 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 what? Don't worry, you did a good job, and I'll be sure to recommend you. It'll be a great expo. <laughs> oh, sure. Good night, and thank you again. <laughs> what a sloppy little guy. <laughs> Day two. <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> well, that was an easy one. In fact, I'd say it was suspiciously easy. To be fair, you also say that every time a pizza <laughs> arrives. So I assume, you, uh, I assume you observed how smooth I was with Anna. Yes, uh, smooth as sandpaper. And what about as comfortable? Oh, and about as comfortable. I'll have you know the only reason she's not with me right now is that I made her feel so comfortable. She no longer wants anything to do with me. Good job. <laughs> she thought it was pretty good boy, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> you are plucky. I will give you that. Hey, guess what? I just learned a new ghost power. No way. Show me. Okay, ready? Wait for it. The phone is about to ring. Oh, sound effects. <laughs> the phone finds itself ringing. Oh, seriously? Your powers are useless as they are oddly specific. <laughs> Phantom fellows, how may I be of help? I see. Okay, sir, I'm on my way. In the meantime, if you are barefoot or wearing sandals, uh, put some socks... Uh, I accidentally hit a button. <laughs> no time to explain. See you soon. All right, let me get something that could maybe help us out, and we'll go. All right, let's see. I think uh, it's almost just for looks. Sometimes uh, is wrong with the speaker, and everything sounds like it's underwater. I wonder why. It wasn't me. I don't bother with musical music made after the harpsichord fell out of favor. Anything in the drawers, maybe? Oh, look at that. I already had the batteries. <laughs> the usual socks, gloves for handling a porcupine, a thimble of peroxide, a shot glass of maple syrup, and a bottle of UV ink. I'll take the ultraviolet ink. Ah, ah, uh, that was the one I was least excited for. I said maybe. No. <laughs> what about the picture? Nah, he's going to stay and watch the house. It's a dog. He's just going to hang out here. It's all good. Anything in here? There's a black light and what was either an egg or an apple in here. I'll take the black light. Uh, nothing good in here. Just socks for my right... Just his right foot. Okay. I think we're good then. Yeah? Okay. Uh, not yet. My gut says I'm not quite prepared enough to leave. What else do you... Oh, there's something under the bed. Maybe that? Got a belt. <laughs> I'm like super tired too. <laughs> I'm like super tired. <laughs> you better hit the streets and um, make me my money. Are we good to go then? Hey, Engelbert. Need something? What's a man if without pageantry? You tell me, I have never had any sense of pageantry in your entire life. And you have ever been in an... And 
You have even been in a pageant. Are you trying to make this your thing? Stop trying to have a thing. It's not fetch. <laughs> nah, I already tried that. It wasn't my thing. Anyway, shall we? Yes, let's shall. <laughs> and so that is why I had to slap that peacock. <laughs> okay. I can't let this game. This is great. Um, to win the woman's heart. Well, I get it now in context, but, you know, don't don't lead with that story. <laughs> anyway, I don't know how much about the case other than it was a grumpy old cowboy who says his barn is haunted. A haunted barn. Classic. Well, we are going to get to the bottom of it. You know, this is so us, too. Uh, we're being so us right now. <laughs> this is so great. Um, oh, wait. Are we here? Is this, like, the barn? The door finds itself knocked. <laughs> oh. uh, once. <laughs> I knocked once. You strike the door with your hand twice. Yeah, that's one knock. A knock is two swift strikes to the door. If I hit it four times, that would be a pair of knocks. I don't want to... <laughs> this kid starting to... Starting to uh, get a little too close to a line there. At the, <laughs> a gentleman's pair of knocks is six blows to the door. Blows? Six blows to the door? What are you, you the police? Four knock. Oh, whoa, he just... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll just add sound effects to the game, like, in my edit. That'll be kind of fun. <laughs> just some random sound effects. Um, good evening, sir. I, I better get 50% off. I ain't paying for two fellers if you're gonna send just one. Sorry, I don't understand. I thought I called the phantom fellers, not the phantom fella. <laughs> so uncomfortable. Uh, just me, the name's Oliver. I didn't really think the name through. It's an inside joke uh, that not a single living person would understand. Yeah, yeah, uh, people love jokes they don't get. <laughs> just like personalized license plates. <laughs> Huh, uh, okay, so what's going on? You said the barn is haunted? Yeah, I reckon there's always been something fucking going on in that barn. See, anytime someone gets near the old gelding in there, things start flying across the dang room. And sometimes that gelding just starts acting all kinds of strange. <laughs> I'm just ad living at this point. Like he got a hive of bees in his back. Anyway, we're supposed to host a kid's birthday party here tomorrow, and I can't have the kids getting scared. Who said it was okay to host a party here if he knows his barn is haunted and things get thrown around um we need the money them camps and camps and parties bring in i understand uh well let me see what i can do if you don't mind i'll go investigate the barn be my guest just don't touch the dang thermostat <laughs> no, wait, what in the barn and no dancing look i'll just let you know if i have any questions meh meh <laughs> just meh Okay, uh, let's see. Where's the barn? Let's see. Do we just walk? To, okay, so we walk to the side. Walkie, walk in, walk in. So, it looks like... Oh, I can control... Uh, is his name... What's his name? Engelbert? Or do I have to, like, walk them both at the same time, or... Can... How do I get up there? I need to get to the barn. Please... Is he going to follow me? Okay, okay. Stables. We're getting there. Uh, all right, uh, I got I got to know. Uh, what was with the if you're barefoot, wear shoes bit on the phone earlier? It's just I'm sick of seeing guy feet. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Sweaty, hairy little nubs. Like, <laughs> as a citizen, you have a responsibility to cover up those. Let's just go inside, man. <laughs> Toenails, all yellow... <laughs> At the smoking room in an airport. Junior, we all make sacrifices in the name of comfort and... Junior, you can taste the smell, so... Indy! <laughs> this is hilarious. This is great. I love this so much. The, the humor in this is just... I don't know if I've laughed as much in the... And a game so soon. Almost every line is a winner. This is this is a blast. I love this. I could just watch this. 
<laughs> Indiana. Right. Right. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Let's uh, let's head on in. We're going to look for the occupant. I will find you when I find him or her. Sounds good. I'm going to just, you know, uh, touch all the stuff. <laughs> Try not to take anything, you kleptomaniac. Oh, I'm going to touch stuff anyway. There's a hose. I'm so weak. <laughs> yeah, okay, gimme. <laughs> Love it. Taking everything. What's up, Mr. Ed? Got the lead rope. What's this? This is exactly the item I would need for a very specific situation that I will never be in. Got a bucket. And now nah, I'm good. I don't... Wait a second. Hey, there's some lighter fluid in here. Yoink! So he's just taking lighter fluid. Alright. I definitely want a rope, but this one is all shiny from hand oils, and that's gross. <laughs> don't need it. I don't own a horse, and I don't know any snakes, personally. Snakies. Yoink! Alright. Can we pet the horsies? Rosie! Can I call you Rosie? <laughs> Well, listen, I've heard so much about you. It's a pleasure. Uh, what is the horse equivalent to a firm handshake? <laughs> Perhaps a quick sniff of my ear would ease tension? N not a horse thing? <laughs> I'll just see myself out. <laughs> I love it. Uh, all right, let's see what the other horse has got to say, if anything. Can I pet you? His eyes are suddenly all glazed over. He must be taking a creepy... Standing up with eyes open horse nap. Horses have mad trust issues to evolve into sleeping with eyes open. Darn right. Okay. Let's uh head wait. I do have this. What's this say? Sunny. It looks like a thing in this area, probably. It looks like a thing can we go in here? I think it's just I think I'll just enjoy it visually. <laughs> oh, this is great. Let's see. I just want to see if... Can we, like, unlock... Oh! Oh! I was not expecting that. Okay. All right. Let's see. I don't want to mess with the horse's beverage. I don't want used tay. I'll keep looking for some fresh cuts. Cigarette... Cigarette butt. Cigarette butt of the horse world. Also, no. I slowly reached my arm up as our eyes met. With the back of my middle and forefinger, I gently brush some of the hair in his face to behind his ear. He smiles. I smile back. Are we going to kiss? Alright, can I walk behind you? Like, is there anything over here, maybe? Don't kick me, and don't poop on me, please. Okay, can I... All right. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't think I have anything to like. Just have rope. Oh wait. Ooh. What if I use this? Can I use this in here? Oh. Okay. Can't use that specific thing. Okay. No way. I just got this thing. Maybe. Okay. Okay, I don't think we can do anything in here. At least not at the moment. I'm going to go see if I can go into the other one then. Can I come inside? Rosella gave me a disapproving nod. I'd better not. Uh, what about what's in the door here? Oh! A little more stuff to steal. Might as well help myself to some of this itchy food. What are you going to do? Eat it? Got some! I'll pass on the box, but I'm interested in what's inside. Uh, it's all a bit musty, man. I'll come back for it later if I really need it. Let's see what's this. Nah, besides, I don't need two of them uh, to make proper raisin cereal. I don't know what it is. There's barnacles on it. How? Why? All of this and more tonight. <laughs> no, I'm not touching that thing. <laughs> I don't really mess with anything below the Muck Master 3000 line of quality products. This is for training horses, and frankly, I'm not in the mood to get kicked in the chest tonight. I'm not taking feed unless I'm dressed as a zombie horse and yelling, Grains! Grains! Alright, so I got some fresh hay. Maybe if I give it to the other horse, it will like me. Love me. Where's where's the grain? Oh, here we go. 
Oops, wrong horse. Sorry, Rosella. You look a lot like a f my friend down the... Oh, wait. What? The other one already had food, so why would I want to feed that horse? Alright, let's just go in and give some green to this guy, maybe? Yes? I, I can't use that specific thing. Um... Maybe I have to do it outside of the stall? Here you go. I'm not prepared to do that. Do that a horse. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm not sure if I glitched the game or what, but uh, I've restarted. And uh, we're back at the farmer's house, so we're going to see if... I'm going to walk to the left here and see if maybe there's something over here that I missed. But it was kind of odd that... Oh, there is. Is there even further I can go? Um, but I thought it kind of odd that, like... Engelbert was in the barn with him and he kept saying, Oh, I'm tired of waiting around for him. So it seemed like something was... Something was definitely glitched out there. So let's just see what else we can do here. Oh, yeah. So, okay, got them, but I won't be able to hold much more. I'm just kidding. I can hold, like, so much more. <laughs> what is it? It's just, just like... Logs? Logs. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, uh, let's see. Can we open the garage? It's locked. Perhaps I should try the human-sized <laughs> human door. I think I'll just enjoy this visually. Is It, it feels fine. It feels fine. Uh, hmm, it's locked. Engelbert, could you pass through it and have a look around for me? I would prefer not to. You know, uh, ghosts can slightly taste what they pass through. Imagine tasting that old cowboy's hand oils. Sorry, Pickles. <laughs> I already checked the garage door itself. That's locked, too. Looks like you're having that door for dinner. <laughs> First of all, you only get to call me Pickles once a year, and today is not my birthday or my death day. And I know I said first of all, but I did not have a second thing. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I'll wait here for you. Do not be afraid to bring me back something nice. Okay, is he like going to go in, or am I controlling him now? Oh, oh, okay. That was easy. Uh, let's see what we got here. Some books. I would like that issue of Into Action with Gabrielle on the cover. However, it would not serve the float home. Survive the float home. It's too heavy to carry, and I am blue enough. I literally feel nothing. There's a tire here. Thankfully, that tire was made after wheels became round. I cannot lift it, but I can roll it. Oh, okay. Oh, what's that? It's an old dusty cowboy's hat. I have it. I will give it to Oliver when I see him. Okay, cool. Uh, one day I woke up good throwing a lasso. Out of nowhere, I may have led the wrong life. <laughs> okay. I'm afraid it would only get all hard and crusty around me. Oh, what? I am much too humid for a handing paper. It would surely acquire water damage. I don't see a reason to cut the power. However, I do hope to at some point. <laughs> That's funny. Do not believe there's anything in here I find appealing. It smells like beef jerky and tobacco, otherwise I'm not interested. Is there anything else in here? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, uh, what is this poster, though? Farmers mostly presents your uncle's knees. <laughs> but on the nose. Bit on the nose, but catchy nonetheless. <laughs> Okay, I think we got everything in here. <laughs> Your uncle's niece. Oh, where'd he go? Huh, Oliver must have spotted a butterfly and wandered off. Oh, he was talking about butterflies earlier. Um, let's see, is there anything else? No, I have already attempted to sneak chimes in the house several times. Oliver always finds them, I suppose, obviously. It does not like chimes were made to have a discreet existence. Can we talk? Can we... Oh, what's he doing? Son of a gun, how'd my scar get all wet? Ain't a cloud in the sky. Ha <laughs> the damp night strikes again. <laughs> the damp night. If I were uh, keen to see whatever uh, grossness is going on in that bedroom, I would unavoidably float to right <laughs> into it. Thankfully, I'm not. I have learned that lesson at least 16 times. I'm not a moth. <laughs> okay. 
I think we're good here. Let's head back to the barn and see if we can't further this investigation here. What is this? Is this something? What is this? Too heavy. I can only lift things without them falling right through me. What is it, though? I've dropped a few of these on some coyotes in my day. Oh, it's an anvil? Uh, okay. <laughs> Nothing. Look, I'll get you the crop, but I don't see why you also want warm oil. <laughs> Oliver Cobblestone, what are you doing? Huh? Uh, nothing. And Dublin, what say you? <laughs> While you were in here defying the rules of nature, I was recovering this delightful hat for you. You're the best, Engelbert. Hand it over. Uh, is that the hat? Here you go. Here's the hat. Hey, thanks, man. Uh, uh, it's all clammy. No one talks about how moist ghosts are. Like, kids should stop wearing white bed sheets and just trick or treat sweaty. <laughs> but no, we are very wet people. <laughs> I'm going to go look for the occupant. I will find you when I find him or her. Sounds good. I'm going to just, you know, touch all the stuff. Try not to take anything. You kleptomaniac. Oh, but we are definitely. So let's um let's start taking stuff and get back to where we were. Oh, okay. Alright, we got something different here now. Um And so, anyways, that's how I died arm wrestling a warthog. Unbelievable. Another ghost who died a hilariously tragic death. I'm beginning to see a pattern. Well listen, my friend. Uh well, listen, my friend and I would be extremely grateful if you would consider relocating. What do you think? We could help you find a new barn if you want to be around horses. I reckon the only horse I want to be around is my old bay horse, Dublin. In fact, I really want to sit up on him one last time, tell him I'll be all right, and hope to keep on keeping on. Well, what's keeping you from sitting on him now? I'm too dead for his liking, too cold and damp. Yeah, I really did not expect the afterlife to be so moist. <laughs> moist. <laughs> yeah, I reckon it's a pretty swampy existence. Tell you what, if we find a way to get up on your horse one last time, will you agree to relocate in exchange? You find a way to get me on Dublin, and I'll be out of here by dawn. It is a deal, then. I'm going to find my breather friend and work this out for you. Oh, I never did get your name. Name's Johnny. Johnny Bad Vibes. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Mr. Bad Vibes. Uh, I'm Engelbert. I will find, come find you when we have got an idea. I better go find Oliver so we can figure this out. All right, we are progressing. Yes. I didn't know what the heck was going on. I was at a loss. Like, almost a complete loss. Come on, floaty guy. Float on by. All right. Do we talk to him, or how's this... I found the occupant. His name is Johnny Bad Vibes, and we need to figure out a way to get him on his horse's back one last time. Without the horse throwing a fit. Horses love fits. Well, then clearly the next logical step is to go have a word with the horse. That is not... No, what? Uh, that is not how any of this works. Well, I'm out of ideas. <laughs> you will think of something, maybe. Or... <laughs> okay, I think we're back on track now. I think we have all the items that we can have. Um, so let's head back over to... Uh, Mr. Dublin over here. And he wants warm oil. And so we've got. Let's, can we go in? Yeah, there we go. All right, so let's see if we can finally do this. I don't know why I need the log. Can we feed him finally? No. Yeah. Okay. Oh, clothes? Is that what was in there? Oh my gosh, what did I just do? That was an accident. That was a complete accident. What is this? The foundation is there, but it's not ready yet. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is insane. Okay. No, I'm... Uh, what else? What else? The log, maybe? Oh no, the hat. Hold on, the hat. 
Where's my stuff here? Let's just see if we can combine it this way. Um, the log? No. It would make a nice torso, but it's much too heavy to hang. Um, all right, so let's muck rake. Okay, grab that like that. Oh, I really thought I was going to need the rake too, but it's working without one, so I'll leave it. Okay. Um, maybe that's all we needed. Oh wait, we put the hat on. Maybe put the hat on. <laughs> this is hilarious. Yeah, if I just throw this on his back, he might get spooked and kick me in the small of my back. Um, let's see. Oh, put uh, no, we did the clothes thing already. I don't know, hose? Um, maybe it's good the way it is. Might as well try it. Or maybe that ghost can possess him? Oh, I see. I clicked on him, but it was... Okay, all right. Um, let's see. Belt? Does he need... It? Oh, the belt? Okay, I got the belt on him. All right. Anything? UV? Clothes. Uh, purple monkey dishwasher. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, where's it at? Let's try it now. If I just throw this on his back, he might get spooked. Okay. So how do I get him not spooked? I know better now than to go poking around damp areas. Uh, oh, wait. I don't know if I... Maybe I can't... Um, the horse won't let you sit on it. Horses are usually quite good at being sat on. What if my assistant Oliver were to sit on the horse's back so you could get on? A horse won't let you sit on it. Uh, horses are usually quite good at being sat on. The horse... Uh, okay. Dublin there don't much like cold and damp. Uh, too many bad memories. No, Dublin likes warm and dry. Anything less than the Mojave sits on his back. He'll know it ain't me. Oh. Um. What if my sister Oliver uh, were to sit on the horse's back so you could get on? Won't work. Uh, Dublin will know right away. Your friend is way too schleppy to be confused for me. <laughs> yeah, it is a vibe. <laughs> a a schleppy vibe. <laughs> schleppy vibe. Thing up there. Is there anything to the right here? Uh oh. Oh, snap. Okay, all right. I didn't know there was so much more to this. <laughs> all right, let's see what's what's this. Uh, call me eccentric, but I think this is a nice spot for a controlled fire. It's a tent. Bears uh, bears may know something tasty inside, but luckily they can't penetrate thin, delicate fabric. Uh, I'm not putting myself or my black light anywhere near that thing. I suppose I could have a quick look. Oh my word, there's one of every type of bodily fluid in here. It is like someone died having coitus on the toilet. Ah, oh, and the stench most foul. I'm dead, and this smells bad. <laughs> well, the moral of the story is, tents don't need my help to collect moisture. <laughs> Did we get anything? Okay. So, how do we... Light. Okay. Fluid is in the fire pit, but I still need something to burn. Oh, the log. Click on it. Wood's in the pit. I don't think it suspects anything is up. I'm going to need something to help start the fire. The wood is too damp. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> if only we knew somebody who has a very high possibility of having matches on them at times, we could ask for one. Hey, the old cowboy sure looks like to smoke. Uh, let's go ask him. For what? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> okay, now we know where we're going. So this is a little bit more than just one area like the first one was. We got some more. We had some more walking around to do. So let's. Um... Oliver, stop! What? The phone. It's about to ring. Whose phone? Ours or his? I uh, do not know. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's okay, buddy. It's not at all useful information either way. <laughs> oh, I love it. Let's see if we can get some matches from the old guy. Hey, the light's on in the barn. I don't think that was on before. Maybe it was. I just didn't pay attention. <laughs> Come on, fella. Oh, where'd he go? Uh, I guess we can knock on the door again. Hello, good sir. I have a feeling this is going to be difficult. Zoe! That schluppy ghost man is about to knock. Get the door. Okay, just a sec. Really need to concentrate. Get the door now! And tell him I'm not here. Hang on, I'm so close to... Oh. Oh! What the freaky frack? Hi there. Uh, Dad says he'll be a minute. Can I help you? Hi. Hi, hey, um, yeah, I was just wondering if you perhaps have any matches I could borrow. You won't believe this, but yes, I just so happen to have some on me. I very much do believe it. Here you go. Nice. I'm Oliver, by the way. Hi, Oliver, I'm Zoe. Nice to meet you. Zoe, that's the third window this month, and you melted my dang popsicles again. I'm sorry, I have to go. <laughs> that was hilarious. Wait, that's... For somebody we have barely met, I am quite obsessed with her. Indeed, old chum. We must learn more about her. Next time I see Johnny, I will ask him for the scoop on Zoe. You're too good to me. And do not forget it. Meh, I'm pretty confident you'll know. Eternally remind me. <laughs> oh, we got our little thing back. Uh, let's, see. Right, let's go start this fire. And warm up the hay man that we made? <laughs> Tell that part I don't quite get. <laughs> it said warm oil, though. I don't have any oil. That's the only other thing. Oil, oil, oil. I didn't see any place with any oil. Alright, so let's get this going. All right, let's make a fire. Perfect. Oh. I hear sound effects. A nice roaring fire. Some crickets. Yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, I might have slightly burned my pinky, and I'm going to do everything I can to make sure you hear about it. Like, a lot. Mostly, you're mostly going to hear about this one thing that just happened to me. I wonder if Prometheus was this whiny. Okay, so do we just warm it up? Nice and toasty. Better hurry, though. It'll only stay warm for a really long time. <laughs> All right, hurry, hurry, hurry. Go, go, go. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's just, it's, just, it's on fire. <laughs> do it. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, I don't know. I just can't. What? What? All right, so let's slap some shoes on this abomination and wrap this up. Well then, take them off. No way, I just bought these. I figured something else out. Go ahead, delay the inevitable. Oh, jeez. Where do I get shoes from? What? Can I take my shoes off? I can't take my shoes off. Oh, how do... How do I supposed to hang that guy there? Like, what the heck? Okay, how do I... Where do I get shoes? Oh, man. What? <laughs> Where do I get shoes from? Oh. Well, there's a tent out there, but. Oh, man. There wasn't nothing else in there. And this is. Yeah, there's nothing there. Maybe I gotta go back to the garage? There's nothing with this anvil. 
First time I'm seeing an anvil in real life as a kid, I figured they were like a daily hassle. Like how quicksand really is. Yeah, no, that one turned out to be an actual nuisance. <laughs> I don't think... Maybe, maybe we go back to buy the tent. Wait. What is that? Is that... No. And these bears look like small sh What? <laughs> what? No. Where did these shoes come from? They have been there the whole time. I was kind of surprised you walked past them before without noticing them. Well, I think they're delightful, and I'm keeping them. Where are you on goofballs? Put those down. What are you talking about? Literally all we need is shoes. It's meant to be. Meant to be in a police report is... <laughs> where are they... Is what they are. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> what the heck? How did I not look? <laughs> Shoes. Were they there? I'm going to have to go back and look and see if that was there the whole time or not. Because that's crazy. Of course, we really weren't looking for any, like, tiny little things either. I thought I'd have to go back. And I still don't know what, like, the UV light and UV ink is for either. If that was even needed out here. Let's go back in. Oh, nice. All right, let's get these dang shoes on here. Hopefully this is it. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I told you, meant to be. What a strange and seedy destiny. <laughs> I absolutely not. And it's not that color. No, the color is magnificent. Like summer's first strawberry. It's the size. You have nearly perfected realism until this point. Let's do a bit better than doll baby shoes for the finale. Uh, I will translate that all you, <laughs> all to you, but let me warn you, it's a dead language. Boo. Hey now, that's our word. So long story short, shoes and also he does not like you. Uh, says his face. <laughs> is the face. What are we supposed to do now? First of all, you need to wipe your fingerprints off those shoes and burn them. <laughs> yeah, he does. Second, well, you know what second is. No, no. Take. I'm not strong enough. Yo. <laughs> I'm not wearing socks under these. Shoes off. Uh, fine. Great. Now I'm barefoot and a hypocrite. Johnny, it's all ready for you. Dublin will feel a warm, itchy body on top of him, and you can hop right on. I'll go get the horse and leave him in here. <laughs> okay. Do I have to actually do that, or is it... Okay, nice. They just cut to it. Aww. Aww. How nice. Oh, he's happy, I think. Maybe. Well, I can't thank you boys enough. I've waited many long years to sit on my horse and say goodbye. It is our pleasure, Johnny. Oliver, please say thank you. Happy to help. Let's give him some space. I'll go prepare the exorcism in the empty stall... And then I'll go get the homeowner. All right, let's set up for a little light show so our grumpy cowboy friend knows it's okay to cut the check. All right, so this, I think this is where we use the UV. Okay, just got to get the homeowner. Engelbert, darling, can you ask Johnny if I can grab my shoes back? <laughs> Johnny, can we use the shoes? <laughs> sure. He said no. <laughs> Uh, fine, I'll go get him barefoot, but I'm not going to be all happy or animated about it. Okay, I'll hang back and see what uh, Johnny knows about Zoe. Thanks, Angie. Angie? <laughs> Are you Angie? I'm back and I have the cowboy. <laughs> huh? By the way, sorry I squeezed your breast when I tripped. I should have turned the lights off once we were in here. <laughs> Just get on with it already. So the spirit was evicted right here in the wall. With some ultraviolet light, you should be able to see the imprint it left on the physical world as it re-entered the void. Or whatever. Again, I'm just an old chunk of coal, but I have to say, watching that girl make horrible consecutive choices has gotten pretty exhausting. I just want to grab her shoulders, look her dead in the eyes, and say, Jacob's a great guy. Why do you hate happiness? You know? Yeah, no, totally. Like, sure, you can't grate cheese on his abs like Marcus, but Marcus is rude to servers. And we're not talking about her behind her back. We're just talking about her while she's not here. 
Yeah, it's somehow not the same thing, even though it's technically the same thing. Well, thank you for everything, Picklebender. I have closure now on all fronts, and I am finally free to rest. All them days turned into years, into decades, and not one moment of rest, not a second of sleep. Just the maddening echoes of a shattered mind. I know, my friend, I know. I hope that you find your someday partner. Find my what exactly? Well, come on. I ain't got all morning. Oh my god, you're acting kind of adorable when you first wake up. <laughs> Alright, anyway, since you're about to pass through anyway, and before my idiot friend shines a flashlight on a puddle of glowing juice, would you mind? Ah, yeah, say no more. I'm happy to oblige. Wouldn't miss a chance to mess with that crusty old man anyway. Besides, I got plenty of unused energy stored up. Thanks. It's just he thinks he's good at this, and it would break his... I get it. He looks like he needs a win. Oh, well, uh, that's just his face. He has resting. I need win face. <laughs> well, it's been a pleasure, Picklebender. Take her easy. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. Okay, Cobblestone, light it up. Uh, oh. Uh, wait, wait, uh... Is it... By the powers possibly vested in me. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'll admit, I'm in the ketchup. You did it. And did you see the door knock around that ghost? The... What? <laughs> well, I never heard... A lot of those words used in that order before, but thanks. Uh, all in a night's work, sir. <laughs> the door knocker. I don't have to be honest with you. I didn't think you'd actually produce results. That said, you used the last of my private reserve, cask aged lighter fluid. Then, as I sifted through the fire pit, I was shocked at what I found. You burned my favorite log. I was going to heat that house with that, and now I have to turn the dang thermostat up. Oh, boy. I'm afraid I'll have to deduct the cost of those at your <laughs> out of your pay. Now get off my land and don't come back until you have the hundreds of dollars you owe me. You can't be serious. I'll tell you what. When you return with my money, you can have a free pony ride. Wait. You have ponies here? Take her easy. <laughs> Who is her? I was a suspiciously beautiful log. It was a suspiciously beautiful log. Uh, if it'll make you feel better... I'll come back here later and gently blow in his ear when he goes pee. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. It actually would make me feel better. How about we get you an ice cream and head home, champ? Sounds good. Hey, what did Johnny Bad Vibes look like anyway? He looked like an old leather jacket with a knuckle for a face. He was magnificent. Come on. Let's go home. <laughs> oh, hey. Um... What is a pan man without pageantry? <laughs> Make small talk. <laughs> what is a man if without pageantry? Pageantry is the is the panache that turns the prose of our lives into poetry. That's right, actually. Did you just come up with that now, or have you thought of this before? One does not just inadvertently alliterate. I practice that line a lot. I just never got the chance to use it. Until now. Zoe, would you like to eat food while watching me Eat possibly the same food in the same place at the same time as you? I'd like that, as long as we both wipe our mouths after every single bite and several more times throughout, for no reason. I am also scared of that. <laughs> scared that I'll be alone forever if someone I like sees a tiny remnant of the food I'm eating on or around my mouth. It's a date. And I'm going to sit at an ice cream. <laughs> what? So what were you doing to cause a tiny mushroom cloud? <laughs> oh, when she blew up, yeah. I was doing a science. <laughs> doing a science. Uh, my job is to confirm that things that should not work do not. Today I want to prove that you shouldn't put an open flame within seven inches of an unidentified noxious gas. Turned out to be more like eight. Or at all. Anyway, I'm interested in hearing more about you. I observed a wondrous light show coming from the barn. Father... Looked like his... <laughs> Sorry. Father looked as if he had seen something ethereal. Who are you? I come from a long line of mushroom people. We're like super sophisticated wizards, and uh, but we can also do pretty awesome drop kicks and like forward dodge rolls. All right, let's put that in the director's cut 
and get to the actual story. Sorry, I'd never been directly asked before, and I panicked. Back there, it wasn't me at all. In fact, putting aside the fan... Ugh. Excuse me. Um, in fact, putting aside the fantastic showmanship, it very... Little me? It's probably it's, it's very little me. Uh, very little whom of it was me, you know? This defies logic. Keep going. I, well, I can see and hear and talk to ghosts. A ghost. My ghost. Well, not like my own actual ghost. I'm like super alive and all, but my best friend is a ghost. Okay, this is a bit, right? Say the word. Engelbert, uh, the lights, please. Just a single flicker. We don't want to call attention. So, it all started when I was just a wee little guy. I'm invested. <laughs> Psst. Kid. <laughs> hey, kid. <laughs> He's like looking at the wall. I see what you do in the bathroom each day. You should feel shame. <laughs> but I thought everyone poops. <laughs> Nobody poops except for you. And honestly, it is terribly odd. You are odd. You must never tell anyone about it. Or you will be deemed a freak. Gosh, well, I'm sorry, mister. I can't help it. I didn't know why I do it. I don't know why I do it. You do it selfishly in indulgence. Just remember, every time you poop, your mother cries alone. So that concludes today's haunting. How haunted would you say you were on a scale of 8 to 10? Keep in mind, I do not go for jump scares. I prefer long-term psychological damage. In fact, do not answer me now. I will check back in a few years to see how much the seeds I planted here have grown. Okay, uh, I'll try not to make anyone sad from now on. Thank you, mister. Go back to watching your unicorn. Oh, you're, you're still here? <laughs> I suppose I am. <laughs> so, so what is your name, lad? I'm Oliver. What's yours? Nice to meet you, Oliver. I'm Engelbert. Listen, I was not expecting that you could hear me. You see, very few can communicate with my kind, and those that do usually bound to a spirit already. I've been trying every day for many years to find someone to talk to. Being dead is surprisingly not great, and I have been bored for a very long time. So this may be a little odd for you since you are a child and all, but can I stay here with you for a while? Sure, Engelbert. Want to watch TV? I'm watching My Moderately Sized Pony. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, kid? I would like that very much. My moderately sized pony. <laughs> These ponies are not particularly attractive to me. But you know what? I get it. <laughs> so without him, I would never have known <laughs> that people aren't supposed to poop. <laughs> Wait, but then how? <laughs> and now we have business together, answering calls when there's a haunting. So it seems I've come across something... It should not work, yet it does. Communication with the ethereal. Indeed, well, my body seems to produce excess dopamine when I'm around you, so when I go back to your place? Oh, please say you have a place. I do have a place, and I can't wait to show you all my favorite things there. It's going to be your bed, isn't it? Specifically my duvet, yes. All right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> it's not this <laughs> <laughs> this is her face. It's her face. Just the glasses. Oh my god. It's not that small. There really wasn't any need for the disclaimer earlier. I think it made everyone feel uncomfortable, especially the cook. It's fine. This whole thing was definitely something that happened. <laughs> Oof. Well, usually... It's okay. I mean, you really had some <laughs> try in you. I could tell you were rummaging around trying to make it impressive above your means. <laughs> it's just that... You're a scrappy little guy. I appreciate the effort. It shows you care, if a bit desperately. I'm gonna go. Maybe we can try this again sometime. Maybe when you're not thinking about ghosts so much. Yeah, less ghosty, just like a little less. Anyway, I'd like that. <laughs> okay, well, thank you for today. You're weird, but you're a good guy, probably. Uh, thanks. And hey, your performance, <laughs> one enthusiastic thumbs length. 
<laughs> She's got jokes. This was fun. Uh, we have fun. Here, let me walk you out. Oh my gosh. You know, maybe I'd perform better if you weren't looking deeply into my eyes. No, you'd last longer if I wasn't looking you deeply in the eye. <laughs> That's a but there, but there. Oh my gosh, just got so raunchy so quick. Also, you really missed an opportunity there. You should have said dead in the eyes. You need to get all the way off my back about ghost puns. I'm not into it. Hey, Oliver, guess what? No, please, I just want to be lazy and... The phone's about to ring. <laughs> oh my gosh. Phantom Fellows, how may I be of help? Oh my god. Day three. Oh my gosh. Still, I had no idea you spent two weeks in heaven. Yep, yeah, right before I met you. Actually, kind of symbolic now that I think of it. Well, come on, tell me about it. I don't know. I was like four degrees too cold. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Ever felt that way? Ever felt that way too? Uh, just <laughs> So just take whatever your version of Elysian is and imagine yourself slightly chilly the whole time. I had a dash of excessive perspiration and yes you have the idea hold on you're cold and sweaty are you sure you were in heaven i don't know maybe you are peanut butter and crazy first off uh, very good i like that thanks i've been trying to shoehorn it in for several hours second we have been standing outside this door for what is now a suspiciously long time right so the reason we're at the museum of i get it there's a haunting where old things are good talk then uh now come on before someone sees me talking to my not self like a well oh you thought no no that's adorable see the demo actually ends here <laughs> ah bummer yeah hopefully <laughs> i'm clapping for that i'm gonna clap for that that was great that was a lot of fun i got hung up a little bit um the clues for what i need to actually be doing um were a little vague but uh, we got through it and uh and yeah that was that was a lot of fun i love the humor the humor was amazing um props to the writers for that i really hope um you know this came out in i think 2021 so i really hope they they finish um and uh and flesh this out because that was a lot of fun other than a couple of the glitches that we had um but uh but yeah, this was uh, th that was great. I, that was a blast. I love humor in games, and uh, this was just chalk and UV light full of it. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep this in my library, and uh, hopefully the full game comes out. But that's a demo for Phantom Fellows. Um, definitely go check it out on Steam if you guys want to play through that again uh, and uh, and enjoy that for yourself. I will put a link to the Steam. Uh, Steam account in my description. Thanks everybody for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, my name is Jay, aka Dr. Vot, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. <laughs> um, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook as well, where I post other crazy, random, nerdy stuff. See you guys next time.